Uh. Yes, I am a tree hugger. I like trees. This is therapy for me. So hello my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heyer and I'm a little bit crazy. Yes, some people would say that. Because I believe in dragons. And I... Uh, I am a little bit also a tree hugger and yeah, so but where does this originate from a tree hugger? That is from the 1800s uh, when uh, seven people, I believe, um, they chained themselves around a big tree. It was a very ancient and old tree, but a rich guy wanted to chop it off, chop it down and uh, these people are being called tree huggers because they were chained to this tree and um, yeah instead of just leaving this tree alive they killed every one of them everyone so actually the name tree hugger also means hero so yes uh, but I want to tell you something else about uh, about my old hobbies my old hobbies was one of them was collecting horror movies before I met my dragon 14 years ago uh, I was a horror movie collector and one of my favorite movies was The Exorcist. The Exorcist, oh my goodness. I still would like to watch it today. Because it was so stunning. It was so creepy. Everything in it, it was so creepy. And now that I am on the path of the dragon, I could analyze this movie a little bit better than I, I did before. Now that I have, I've, uh, I am on the spiritual path of the dragon, now can, I can analyze it because I also get possessed by spirits, but not just spirits, the dragon itself, but not possessed. And that is what I would like to tell you something. What is possession of your body from a spirit to your body? A possession is not like these movies tell you what it is. So all around the world, in every religion, there is um, claims of being of of being uh, possessed by demons and things like that demons and devils and the devil itself even in the exorcist itself uh, the spirit claims to be the devil but that was it was very clever because actually it was not it was uh, in the second movie it was revealed to be pazuzu and pazuzu is in the same world in the same uh, mythology mythology of Tiamat and Tiamat is the mother of all dragons and a dragon goddess one of the first I mean and it's in the same mythology so Pazuzu um, was actually I, I looked down for him and actually he was also a worship being a worship uh, worshiped uh, spirit just like the dragon was and uh, in this movie he was very very violent to this host to uh, Megan she was called Megan and she had this after playing with an Ouija board I did also some Ouija board sessions and that is very creepy sometimes the radio comes on its on itself but um, when a spirit comes to you and he takes possession of your body first of all there are rules in nature you cannot just possess someone first of all there are rules and the rules is that you already have a connection with the spirit so in fact to be honest, to be exact, the so Reagan already had a deep connection with Pazuzu. And um, in this movie, he was very violent to her. He was uh, stabbing her, he was uh, throwing her everywhere. I mean, she was even walking uh, backwards on, on the stairs. It was very creepy, by the way. But that this isn't, isn't how it really works. I have been possessed myself for, for, uh, up with my guardian dragon. My guardian dragon comes inside of me all the time. And I know what it is because I said he, he, I was, he was allowed to do so. I, I liked that, that he comes inside of me. The interaction between me and this guardian dragon that is, that is amazing. That is, when these, three, these dragons are talking, we are talking to each other. That is, that is magic. That is, that is wonderful. But the dragon is still a dragon, it's still an individual, so he, he will be, he will say, do this for me or do that for me, and then you have to decide to do that. But it's all, it, it's all it depends on you. You are not really possessed in a way that you cannot do anything anymore. 
that you are taken over, that your body is now someone else, like in this movie. This is not going to happen. When a dragon comes in, inside of you or any other spirit, then this, this spirit can only talk to you. Talk. Maybe manipulate you a bit. I, I know that this can happen. But you, have, you are still in charge. First of all. Second of all, when a spirit in, comes inside of you, they will take care of their host. They, will, they, are, they have connections with each other. So they will not injure, injure their... Uh, the ones they have a connection with. And a third of all, um, this was a being of Babylonia. Babylonia, yes. So way before Christianity or any other religion that we know today. So if you say the power of Christ compels you, yeah, then the yeah, yeah, Pazuzu is going to say, uh, yeah, what are you thinking now? Uh, do I have to do something now? Now that you see the uh, power of Christ compels you, okay compels me <laughs> so yeah this, this is not going to happen it's not going to have an exorcism an exorcism can be done but the thing is if it's a real exorcism is if, is, is, if it's a real possession then the host will not allow them to have an exorcism because they have a connection with each other so they can understand each other they can talk to each other so it won't happen and there are a lot of people in this world um, who claim to be possessed and then they have to be uh, exorcised, uh, yeah, exor have an exorcism performed by a priest or whatever. And then they can do like, uh, yeah, extreme violent and saying horrible things. But yeah, even in the spiritual path, I have to say that is psychological. That is psychological. That is like having a Jekyll and Hyde side of yourself. That is not because you are crazy. That is because you are, are letting yourself be carried away. That is normal. That is the human brain. The human brain does something like that. And, in, um, and, and this human brain can also help you to have a more deeper connection with a real possession. With the, when, when the dragon comes to you and it comes inside of you, now, that the thing is to have the draconic energy inside of you, to let it grow. That is also what the dragon wants. So you want this, they want this, everyone wants this. And the thing is, when you have a possession of the dragon, then become the dragon. Become the dragon. Just <sighs> become them. Just visualize. Visualization is very important on the path of the dragon. But don't let yourself be carried away. Don't become a cartoon character. Don't just... The dragon is a very real being, a very real spirit, and they come inside of us all the time. When that, when that happens, you will feel it. You, will, you can even speak to them. If it's a, if it's a real uh, possession. It's not really a possession. It's just coming inside of you, but you have all the charge. You are in charge of your body, always. This is a rule of nature. And nature won't let this rule be, bro be broken by spirits. They are still the strongest energy. And that is nature. Nature doesn't allow that. But yeah, people like this because yeah, some people earn money with this. Yeah, exorcisms, that costs a lot of money. And yes, money is the weak point of humanity. So yeah, so it even... Um, it, it, if it was for money, then this forest was already gone. But yeah, nobody lives here, so I am in luck. So yeah, in, in, and I, I would say just to earn money. So um, I am a dragon priest, and now I can ex ex uh, put a, perform an exorcism on you. Because everything that is not the dragon is evil. That, that, uh, I could easily say that, but I won't, because I want to say the truth. Because I, w I don't earn money with this, so I can say the truth. It's so easy to manipulate people in this. In to uh, to let, them, let them think that they are possessed. Some people are just misguided. Some people are just very sensitive to things like that. A possession doesn't really exist. 
it doesn't exist but a spirit can go inside of you a spirit with a large connection with you like the dragon and I would like to know if you have already felt the dragon inside of you not the draconic energy you were born with but the guardian the one who is living next to you around you <sighs> so that is not a possession that is just a unity that is a good word for that a unity with uh, the dragon and you just like I said the trinity must be complete and the trinity that is the draconic energy inside of you, your guardian and nature itself. Once all these three energies go inside of you, now that is amazing, that is cool. That is a beauty of nature, the beauty of the dragon. They can do that, they have a lot of connection with nature, because nature is actually the dragon god, and uh, all the elements of course. And of course, uh, the guardians and the reborn dragon, that is you. But this dragon still needs to grow. So yeah, exorcisms. Oh, that movie was, it was great. I still love it. Even after uh, almost 50 years that it exists, I still love it. Just because of entertainment value. It's entertainment. Not because I see this as something real. Even though Pazuzu is a real spirit. It's also based on a, a real exorcism that happened in the 40s. But like I said, some people let themselves be carried away. Because no spirit of Babylonia or whatever, ever, wherever, is going to be so violent with their host. Because all these spirits who come inside of them have a large connection. And if they don't have a large connection, and they have dark in intentions, that uh, they can only touch you, but they, they can never go inside of you. That is forbidden territory for them. And if these people, if these people uh, have a large connection with another spirit, then the dragon, for example, will chase them away. They are your guardian. And no one, no one is allowed inside of your body except the dragon and when the dragon notice that some of them is, are touching you negative spirits then they will be there for you guarding you they will protect you and they are the only ones who can be inside of you so yes uh, my brothers and sisters on the dragon's path be blessed